did our first douchebag traveller act, but it was kind of worth it. <laughs> we complained about our room because the aircon unit was like dripping and we were like, oh it'll be fine, hopefully we'll get a discount or whatever, but um, they wouldn't give us a discount, instead they gave us another room. But this room is way bigger and it's got a fridge, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> It was, it sounds, Jane made it sound like we are being real douchebags, but it was quite annoying because like our bags were getting wet and all night I had to put a, a Pringles tin there and you just heard like drip, drip, drip the whole night, which was quite annoying. Um, but yeah, now we've got like a fridge, we've got like a balcony thing. It's a nicer room and the people were really nice about it. Yeah, yeah. although this room I can probably see like 20 mosquitoes flying around, so they must have had like a window open or something. Yeah, who knows how long they, they haven't had somebody in this room, so if they've just like bridge in here. But we're gonna go get some breakfast anyway, gonna hire some bikes and have a look around the city. See what's up. So we stumbled across Tom and Grace on our way to get breakfast. Um, now where are we going? To the Arc de... It's not called the Arc de Tri Triumph? Is that how you no. say it? Arc de what? What's that? Arc de... Triumph? Triumph. Arc de yeah. Triumph. But Triumph. it's called like Patu Thai or something. It's the loud version of it. Yeah. So this is the loud version of the Arc de Triomphe. Apparently it was built as a war monument to um, celebrate the independence from France. And interesting fact, it was actually built with money that the Americans donated to Lao to build a new airport, but they were like, nah, screw that, we're going to build a freaking Monument. Monument. <laughs> this was not what I was expecting to be up here. See you in England? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least we've got some contacts in England now. <laughs> yeah. Hey Jane. What's my favourite fruit in Asia? Mango. What's my favourite drink in Asia? Beer there. What? Beer there. Beer? Oh, beer. <laughs> yeah. What have I just bought? Mango lingo. Mango beer. Mango beer, mango beer, mango beer. Oh, it's delicious. Try some. This might be the only beer that you ever like. It doesn't smell like beer. It's 2.5%. It's probably like a shandy. A mango shandy. A mango shandy. Oh my gosh, it tastes like those, um, spate, are they spates? Um, export. Yeah, those export, what are they called? Oh, export citruses. Yeah, but mango flavoured. Yeah. I'm gonna write a letter. <laughs> they need to make mango. After a long hiatus in our room, we're doing nothing. Um, I'm going to go back out into the night market, it's finally kind of clear enough to do it. We've got our ponchos, right Joan? Yep. <laughs> so if it does piss down with rain, it'll be a little bit protected. the spray before we went out and we've just got back and there's like dead mozzies 
everywhere which is really good because at least they're not alive but really gross because now I'm going to have to like shake out the bed they're all over the floor well Asian raid you did me well